Let's take a look at pawns in Follow-Up Boss. An admin or owner level user can create or manage a pond. To find these, you go to admin and then pawns. This will bring you to the screen showing you all of your pawns. So the name of the pond, the pond lead, team members, uh, and over here you can edit or delete that pond or create a new one. So a pond is a really cool way that Follow Up Boss allows multiple users to share contacts. It's the primary function of it. Um, I've seen people do other cool stuff with them, but the idea here is that rather than adding people as a collaborator or making people admins or trying to do fancy stuff in platform, you can essentially share contacts, whether they are leads, old leads, any sort of contact. Another great use people do a lot are vendors. You can make a vendor's pond, which would make all of your vendor contacts available to whichever team members you add here. So people also use these for things like recruiting. Uh, if you want to dump a big list in here, but you want to figure out how to get through it, or if multiple people on your team are potentially reaching out to recruit, uh, recruiting is another good use of a pond. And of course, old leads, uh, a lot of times we'll help people set up an automation where at the end of a certain action plan uh, or when they're moved, people are moved to a certain stage, they may shift to a pond, which allows for either prospecting, uh, for new agents to potentially go in and call older leads before they get put on lead rotation. Um, a lot of great use cases. So uh, make sure you name it something that makes sense. The name will be visible to your team inside of Follow Up Boss if they are added to it. So don't call it the worst leads live here pond unless uh, that's part of your plan. The pond lead is significant largely in that any marketing activity that goes out will go out from the pond lead. So if you have action plans running, um, if you're somehow routing people initially to a pond, I guess the initial text could be part of that. But any marketing done in Follow Up Boss, of course, you're using another system like MailChimp, this doesn't affect that, but uh, the pond lead would be significant in largely in that sense. And then you can add whatever team members to whichever pond. So if you wanted to add specific people to one, say a prospecting pond, and not add someone to a recruiting pond, this is a great way to control who can see which one. So um, as I mentioned, you can click edit over here to edit it or delete it, which you should be pretty careful about doing. But again, name it well, pick the appropriate pond lead, and then you can just select um, the users that you wanna have access to that pond. Now, one quick thing I wanna tackle, as far as getting to a pond, um, there's, two kind of primary ways you can do that. Uh, once an agent has been added to a pond here, they'll have access to see it in this menu over here at the top right. If they're an agent level user, they may have not even had this drop down before because it's just always been me. But as you add ponds, if you're a platform user using Teams, uh, you'll see all those things here. So the easiest way to hop into a pond and check somebody out is to just use this drop down, say, hey, I want to go to this gold mine pond and now I'm gonna do some prospecting. Be sure to make a best practice around if you want agents to claim these leads first, or if you would prefer them to contact them, leave them in here, and then only claim them once they actually connect with them. That's an important uh, differentiation you wanna make in your internal team policies on this. But anyway, any agent that has access to any pond will be able to get to it here. There's another cool way you can do this. It's a little bit of a recent ad. Um, ponds are now here available as a column. So if you wanted to make a smart list tied to your pond, it makes it a little easier than having to shift to the pond. Again, depending on how you're using this. But if you add pond and say, hey, I just wanna see um, this particular one, you could add multiple ponds. And again, the good news is if you add multiple ponds here as a smart list, the people will only be able to see the pond that they're in. So if you wanted to include all of your ponds in the smart list, um, you can do that. But again, only people who have access to that pond will see those specific leads. So this smart list would look a little bit different for everybody, probably in a good way. So you can check those settings. And then of course, go to save list and you know, be sure to name it something that makes sense. So I'm gonna call it our ponds and I'm gonna give um, access to uh, 
from everybody. So now I've got a smart list that includes pond. So if I were to, I don't think we have anybody in that seller's pond, potentially, you would actually want to go back to everyone in this case, or me, if you're an agent, and then you could see everybody uh, in those ponds via a smart list without having to scroll back and forth between the pond. Again, just a best practice for your own team um, internally. But let's hop back real quick and look at the basic settings here. Um, so again, this is where you make sure you name it, select the people, hit save. Another good thing is to add this to your onboarding. So if you have a written onboarding um, or want to get a written onboarding, things like, you know, set up follow up boss account, add to pawns, add to a group for lead flow, things like that um, are good to have written best practices around. And that way, when somebody new joins your team, you can easily say, hey, you need to be in the vendor pond and the old leads pond. You're good to go. So really cool feature. Again, the primary use of this is just to share contacts without having collaborators or making people admin. Uh, but some really cool things you can do here. So come at this from the idea that um, shared contacts live here, and then you can back your way into if you need want to tag them plumber or recruiting hot prospect or something like that um, within that setup. So I hope this helps. And um, let us know if you have any questions. Feel free to drop a comment and we're happy to answer those.